everyone, I'm Alex Case Cohen, manager of the Pondre Conservation District. Today we are at Pines Road off of the Little Spokane River. We are standing in front of a farm forest fish passage program project, Triple F 2P as I'll probably call it the rest of the video. Uh, this project in installed a lovely bridge to replace a culvert or a fish barrier to prevent fish passage on the Little Spokane. Um, so we are standing here today with Kayla Casa. She's with Osborne Consulting. Uh, we've hired her and her team as an environmental project manager and engineer to help us implement salmon recovery projects in both the Ponderé River watershed, so that is Water Resource Inventory Area or WIRA 62, and the lovely Little Spokane River watershed. So the purpose of our meeting today, we're meeting with the Lands Council, and neighbors and landowners who own property along the river to install what are called beaver dam analogs or BDAs. And Kayla in her schooling has actually worked to engineer and install these BDAs. So Kayla, yep. do you wanna tell us a little bit about them? Sure, yeah. So beaver dam analogs or BDAs are engineered beaver dams and they can span across the river in configurations, you know, varying a few to very many. Um, they're used to help reconnect the stream to the floodplain and get it back to its natural habitat. It can also help create habitat and pooling refugia areas for fish. Um, it can help raise water tables, lower stream temperature, and also trap sediment and other chemicals that can be floating down the river. So overall, it's just really great to get the stream back to its natural state. Very cool. And one thing that we've noticed is some beaver sign here. Yeah. So you can see some branches and trees that have been gnawed off uh, by the beaver. And the cool thing is that even when you install these BDAs, you'll frequently have beavers who live in the area come in and perfect uh, what we've already installed. They are mm -hmm. nature's engineers and they will do better than likely what we can do. Yeah. And less maintenance for us too. And less maintenance for humans. Another benefit of us coming out to the Little Spokane River today is we're able to meet with one of our neighbors and partner landowners, Bert Westover, who owns half a mile of an old river, uh, excuse me, an old railroad bed here that used to connect Spokane to Newport. And it's great that we were able to hear the history of this. It was decommissioned decades ago and was then offered up to individual landowners for purchase. Uh, Bert has expressed to me that he would like to turn this into an environmental education center so that folks can come here and explore, look at all the native plants and wildlife, see some beavers perchance. Um, we would hope to help with this project to maybe connect parts of the river that were destroyed when this prism was installed years ago. That way uh, it can restore that historic sinuosity and the river can return to its historic footprint. Thanks everyone for joining us out here on the Little Spokane River. Our friends with the Lands Council determined that this is actually a pretty natural system and may not need a beaver dam analog. But if you or someone you know has a tributary or is familiar with a tributary to a river or a creek and there isn't a lot of vegetation, it looks like it's just a ditch or a straight channel, then contact me or one of our staff people at the Pondre Conservation District and we will be glad to help you out.